And looking ahead, the Salvation Army of Greater Baton Rouge is hosting an event to raise money to help those in need. That's what we find in NBC Local 33, Zach Lobby, with details on the Shield of Hope Gala. Good morning, Zach. Hey, good morning, Courtney and Reggie. Well, we're here at the Salvation Army of Greater, Greater Baton Rouge, and with me, I'm joined by Morgan Daly. So, good morning. How are you doing? Good morning. Doing great. How are you? Doing well. So, thank you so much for being with us this morning. So, first of all, just tell us what kind of things does the Salvation Army do? So here locally in the community, uh, we have many programs. We have a drug and alcohol recovery program for men. We also have a 50-bed uh, men's homeless shelter. Uh, we have some community service projects that we do throughout the year. We also have Pathway of Hope that services uh, families who are struggling to drink, break intergenerational poverty. Um, and then we, of course, offer regular social services like food boxes. Yeah, so definitely some important things for uh, the community. Uh, so you guys are hosting this event coming up um, in just a few weeks mm -hmm. to uh, help support uh, all of the work you guys do. So tell us a little bit about this event. So this event actually will directly fund our drug and alcohol recovery program and our Pathway of Hope program. Uh, the event is on May 19th at LaBerge. Uh, it's pretty exciting. We will have the Chase Tyler Band live there. Um, we also will have Julio Malera doing a keynote address. Um, We'll be serving dinner, and we will have a silent auction. So all the proceeds from the event do go directly back into the programs here in the local community. And you were telling me before we came on that uh, you guys haven't been a hold of this event in person for at least two years, right? That's correct, yes. We um, had to cancel our first year due to the pandemic, and we did a virtual event last year. So we're hoping to get back in person and have a great night this year. So have you heard from anyone so far about how they're feeling about being able to be back in person? We have. Uh, we have a lot of people, donors, that are very excited about being at the event again this year. Um, I think a lot of people are starting to get back in the swing of being out and about and visiting with friends. And I think everybody's excited that has decided to come to the event. So. All right. Well, it sounds like a good time. Well, uh, coming up in our next half hour, we're actually going to talk about a silent auction that they have at this event as well. But we'll have more information available on our website and on our free BR Proud app. For now, sending it back to you guys.